Well, the genetically modified food debate across Washington state is getting messy. Initiative 522 would require most genetically engineered foods to be labeled. And with ballots being mailed out this week, both sides trying to leave the right taste with voters. KXY 4's Kylie Cruz is working for you tonight. She's breaking down the initiative and how it affects you. Agriculture is crucial to our economy here in Washington. A very heated battle is brewing in Washington state. If you haven't turned on the TV lately, we rely on labels to tell us what's in the food we feed our families. It's hard not to catch an ad about Initiative 522. It's really giving you that choice and empowering you, the shopper, to decide. What 522 provides is inaccurate, inconsistent, and incomplete information. This initiative would require genetically engineered food to be labeled by July 1st, 2015. It would exempt alcoholic beverages, certified organic foods, medicine, and food served at restaurants. Right now, there are no federal regulations for GMO labeling. What it would require is it would require food companies for just Washington to have to remake their food in order to avoid placing a warning label on the front of it. The Washington Research Council estimates this would cost the average family at least an extra $450 a year because the price of food would go up to meet the regulations. But those in support of I-522 don't believe that claim. They point out that the opposition group actually paid for the study that suggests food prices would go up. The no side bought and paid for that Washington Research Council study. They spent tens of thousands of dollars paying for two studies to show that it would cost consumers based on hypothetical scenarios. Both sides say the other is misleading. American manufacturers actually already label this information and they sell these products to 64 overseas markets and they label GMOs there. And why can't they do it here? The proponents like to talk about other countries, but you have to remember under Initiative 522, it's 1 50th of a country. It is placing a regulatory and litigation burden on our farmers and food producers. Kylie Cruz, KXLY 4 News.